That's why every time I stand here, I'm saying I am nothing. I'm just nothing. All what you're hearing, and they be done by human beings, such heavy things. So when I stand here, I believe it is the prayers of the servant of God. It is not rightful for me to stand here. It is that word that the servant of God was given before, before the crusade, that people should be vessels. Once you know you are just used, so you cannot get worried because this is not your work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what happened in Malindi is so great. You who went there and we remained behind. But we were together with you. You were not there alone. We were together. All that was happening there, we were seeing them here. And we were listening to that here. And we were watching it here. We were seated outside there. And we were seeing through the phone of Pastor Andoro. The gospel was being preached. On first day Friday, the message came from Saudi Arabia. <laughs> that is the home country of <laughs> Apostle Muhammad. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Nikasema so the message was saying, the machines are so clear. We are hearing the preacher and we are hearing the translator also. That means everything is so open. That was the message coming in the phone. Amen. And it's true. I'm congratulating our appreciation the technicians from last year. We had had a difference concerning the machines. Those who are listening it was like they were together with that pastor, the speaker. And that place is so far. From America the same way. So this, this is the thing that making the devil to fight. This word. Because the devil, from the days of Jesus Christ, he never wanted people to be told this word. This word. Concerning parents. He never wanted them to be told. It was a great war. From the time Jesus was there, even the time Jesus had gone away, so the devil continued to fight. He commanded one day John and Peter to be arrested. And they were in prison. They were chained or bound. They were laid down on the floor. And there was a soldier inside. And outside also there was another soldier. And at the gate also, there were soldiers also. But because these ones, they had not killed anyone. They had words of the everlasting life. God himself had to send an angel from heaven. And he went through where the soldiers were. And he passed through the closed door. And he went right inside. And he worked John and Peter. Told them, follow me. 
And again they came out to where they, the soldiers were. There was nobody who witnessed. They went to the gate and they also passed. And he told them, Go right the, to the synagogue. And tell people all concerning the, the, the everlasting life. Do not hide anything. And the soldiers were there. And the door was not opened. And the people of God had been taken out. They went to the synagogue. And to stand. And to speak all that had made them to be arrested. The affairs which had made them to be arrested. They were instructed to go and speak the same. Inside the synagogue. So they came in the morning. And the, the jail was closed. And the soldiers were standing. They had to ask for the keys. They opened the door. When they entered inside, there wasn't an apostle, even one. So the soldiers began to tremble. Because what will they say? And doubtfully, they had been bribed. How did they come out and the door is closed? So suddenly, a person came from the synagogue and went to the high priest and told them. So the high priest had to leave. They went with a crowd of people to the synagogue. So they sent the soldiers so that they may not be harmed there. So they went and arrested them again, but not by force, or lest they may be stoned to death. So they went together with them to that place again. And they asked them, didn't we warn you not, not to speak this? That, that you should not speak to anybody concerning this? Or maybe to teach this word? So the apostles were surprised. So they say, Is it right? To listen to you as human beings rather than God. Okay, judge yourself. That we are not going to forsake speaking the word that we saw and hear. We are not going to stop it. So at that time there was a teacher of the law. His name was Gamaliel. And he told, he asked that the apostle should be taken out because he had words to speak with the priest. So he told them, my brother, be careful what you do to these people. Because before Jesus, another person came who was called Theuda. And he knew a lot of so many people to him. They were, they were all, they all perished, and he also was seen as nothing. And again, at that time, in Galilee, Judah also sprang up, and he also drew a very big crowd behind him. So the people also perished, and he was seen as nothing. Also. So you should know that on how you treat these people. Because if this work concerns human beings, it will break. But if it concerns God, you cannot break it. Unless you shall be seen to be fighting against God. So God is telling you that spoiling. Once you have been spoiling, you will also be spoiled. In any way, you just soil, spoil. But after spoil, you will also be spoiled. And that is a, a, a word of scripture from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You sing this multitude of people. They were hungry. They wanted God. They want to be assisted. Then who can stop that thing? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is not people who are making noise. The devil is the one who doesn't this word to be heard. And they have been spoken all day. And he was there in this world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They will be spoken all day. And the devil is right in this world. Whether he wants it or not, they will be spoken. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because that's what made Jesus to come on this earth. He came and died. For the sake of human beings. So that they may get forgiveness of their sins. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I was surprised. Then why is it that we can have a very big preacher from outside to come with words which are benefiting people and then it's not easy to be connected to this place. You find that that person is hidden. He has finished the gospel and has gone away. 
Aje mwingine tena. Another one comes. Bwana ili shikanisha. Is it not a church? Haleluya. Haleluya. Sasa wale watu wale. So those people. Wanaokaa na wale. Who stay with them. Wanajua hapa kuna nini hapa. They know what is here. Satan anajua. The devil knows. Yeye mkiungana na hao watu. Once you are united to those people. Utasema haya maneno mlionayo. You are going to speak these words you have. Na Satan hataki yasikiwe. And the devil doesn't want this word to be heard. That's why wherever you enter you, lie, you look like your enemies wherever you enter you look like your enemies even though you have gone there with a word of peace amen so do not be worried do not be worried because the devil if he defeated jesus then you could tremble Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kama alimshinda Yesu. If we defeated Jesus. Sasa wewe tetemeka. Then you had a reason to tremble. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yesu ndiye ndiye alimshinda Satani. But it is Jesus who overcame Tena the devil. Tena akakokoja And he again took away the keys. Sasa mamlaka. Of authority. Ana uwezo kuzuia neno la Mungu. He has no power to stop the word of God. Kwa vyovyote vile. In any way. Usiku na mchana. Day and night. Injili itahubiriwa. The gospel shall be preached. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na watu wataokolewa. And people shall be saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It will be preached na watu wataokolewa. And people shall be saved. Na yale ambayo hatakayanenwa. And the words he doesn't want to be spoken are the same words that will be spoken. Mungu aliweka amri ya kwanza. God put a commandment si ya kuandika. Not by writing. Ah, no. Yenye ahadi. It is a it is a commandment with a promise. Bwana usana. Amen. Upate heri. That you may be blessed. Ukashikunyika katika dunia. And live long on this earth. Aliwe kwa kwa baba na mama hapo. And it was put at the father and mother. Na yeye shetani. And the devil kasi yake his work ni kukuanzisha vitana hapa is to make sure you are fighting against that tangu mtoto mdogo from the time of your childhood ananza na wewe na hapa he begins with you at this place haleluya haleluya ukiona unashingishwa maneno find that you are accused of anything ambayo wewe hutafanya which you have not done tangu wale watu do not blame anybody tangu don't blame anybody haleluya haleluya usilaumu watu do not blame anybody na mahali utafanya there is a place where you did it you also accused someone haleluya haleluya moja nilienda kushuka one day i went to hard cattle, and, nyumbani, and i came home kwa kitanda cha mama and on my mother's bed nikakuta kuna mkebe mweusi there was a black tin i tried to open it my finger i couldn't so i took a hole and i tried to open it so instead there was a pump mama alikuwa na those those, those days and they put silver side afunga silver moja and there was a silver tied in the knot kwa sababu kama ni peni because if ten ten cents alina alina tari is smooth lakini ukishika na pita pita hapo but if here is unajua hiyo ni shilingi then you can know that it's a shilling nikajua ni shilingi so i knew it's a shilling is nikajaribu kufunga ikakataa so i tried to open it i used my meno i used my teeth afunguka and i opened the knot open meno na nguvu atakuwa so the teeth are so strong more than the hand nikaikamua ile shilingi so i took out the shilling i took it out sasa hapo hapo So at the same Roho nyingine niliambia rudisha. Another spirit told me return the shilling. Nyingine kaniambia chukua. Another one told me take the shilling. Nyingine kaniambia rudisha. Another one told me return the shilling. Nyingine kaniambia chukua. The other one told me take the shilling. Nyingine kaniambia utapigwa. The other one told me you will be beaten. Kaniambia usiogope. The other one told me don't worry. Paka ya muongo ikashinda. So the voice of the liar nikafunga hiyo mkope yake. Overcame so I tied the note again and returned it to the tin. Nikafunga nikaweka hapo. And I tied the tin and returned it. So the devil again gave me some Akanambia sasa. He told me now. Uweze kujua kama ukiiba utapigwa namna gani? You don't know how you'll be beaten if you steal. Usile sahi. So don't spend Enda it now. Enda nyumba. Go behind the house. Nyumba kashimo hapo. And dig a hole. Uwezike kwanza. And put it down there. Alafu weka kijitu. And then put a stick Sijo there. Sije ukapasahau. Let's you don't forget. Ngoje mamako aje pale. And wait until your mother comes back. Aitafuta ikose. To look for her shilling and you see it. And then you see how it will be. Kama maneno yatakuwa makali. If the atmosphere will be so bad. Then go and take the shilling and return it. Kama maneno ni line line. Things are okay. Awe chukua ukatumia. You go ahead and spend it. Nikaenda nikafanya hivi. So I did exactly that. Nikawa mwanafunzi wa shetani. So I was that a disciple of the devil. Nikaenda nikachimba kashimo. So I dug a hole. Na nikaitia hapo. And I buried the shilling. Na ndio ilikuwa mara yangu ya kwanza. And that was my first time. Kuibia mama. To steal from my mother. Nikaifinika. So I covered it. Kangoja. And I waited. Nikachukua ringi ya beskili. And I took a baseball ring. Nikaanza kucheza hapo. I began playing around there. Nazunguka hivi tu. I was going around. Mama akaja kutoka shambani. So my mother came home from the shamba. Kagusha kuni. So she she had a, a heap of Akaenda firewood. Akaenda kuimba kwa nyumba hii. And she went right inside the house. Anaenda kutoka kumbe siku hiyo. So that day alikuwa ataitumia hii shilingi. She was to spend that shilling. Kwa kununua chumvi. To buy salt. Ya peni mbili. 20 cents. Ilikuwa ratili moja. 
It was one gram. Maybe at this time it's, it's a half a kilo. So she went to look for a shilling. The, the, the pocket was there and the note is also there. But the shilling is not there. So, and I was outside just at the doorstep. So the devil had given me words. To show that I had done nothing. So my mother called me. My elder sister is a girl. And they, they, she was together with my aunt. They were playing outside. She asked me. Who has taken my shilling from here? So I told my mother. Do I know where you put your money? Maybe you ask your, your girl. She's the one who stays close to you. I don't know anything. Bibi. Bibi. Come here. Who has come here to take my shilling? And my sister was always worried. She was so meek. Once you ask her something, she does not understand. She begins to cry. Who has taken my shilling here? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. No. If this one has not taken and you have not taken, then is that the devil who has come here? Is that the devil who has come here? Oh, she sat down. She began to cry, well, holding her head. Kulia. She began to cry. Mama, oh, mother, I'm telling you, I've not taken a shilling of me. No. Kama si wewe ni huyu. If it's not you, then it's this one. Nana, Who has come here? Kama so I went close to my mother. Kama I asked her. Mama, mina lia? Mother, are you seeing me crying? No, 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 mina lia. Are you seeing me crying? This is a sign she has stolen the shilling. No, she, she's fearing to be beaten. If she's not stolen the shilling, why is she crying? So I went closer to her. I told her to cry and then return the shilling. And I have the shilling. I've not spent it. It's just hidden outside there. So she continued crying more. So I took my ring and I was going around. And then I look at her. My mother had insulted She has your aunt is coming to pay this money. You are very foolish. So I was telling you, okay, continue crying. After finishing, then you return the shilling. That means that it's her who has stolen the shilling. And I have the shilling. So my sister, how, how do you think she felt? Because she never took the shilling. And she doesn't know anything about the shilling. And it looks like she's the one who's taking the shilling. Because I'm so bold. I'm not worried at all at all. I'm not a thief. I'm very legal. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you see this. I had stolen the shilling. But I've accused my sister. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've accused her. Now, this is a double sin. I've made my mother sad because she came knowing her shilling is there. When, when she read there, the shilling is down there. And again, I'm, I'm accusing my sister. And I put bitterness in her also. And she's my elder sister. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you see this thing. The devil does not want this to be spoken. This, this affair. The devil doesn't want them to be spoken. That people may hear them. Because what I did will set free so many minds who did the same. This one I did. But only this one thing will open the minds of many people. Knowing what he did at the time of childhood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, you'll rejoice. After seeing that Easter, that was ending, I'm not a thief. I continued provoking her until the time the food was ready. We ate. She was so bitter she doesn't want to eat. She was sighing and sighing because of the bitterness she had. I told her, you just continue eating food. You have taken the shilling and you don't want to return it. And you don't want to eat the food also. So what do you want us to do to you? Then she begins afresh to cry. Then my aunt was looking at me. She told her, leave her alone. You make her to stay the whole day without eating. Okay, aunt now. She has taken the shilling to, to give it out. And she doesn't want to eat the food. So I continue eating. So my aunt had to chase me away. I left, but then I was okay. I knew that I was not a thief. So I went and took the shilling. And I went to the shopping center. And I bought seven dumplings. 
Eh. Yeah. Na nimekula nikashiba. And I had read I ate the seven dumplings again. On the way, and I was left with 30 cents. Because every dumpling was costing 10 cents. So I went back to the shopping center. I bought two rubbers. Or to make a catapult. So I came and made a catapult. I looked for a small piece of skin. So the, the shilling had ended there. So I began again offending the game rangers, killing the birds, and killing them. You see that one shilling? It brought so many mistakes. And it's the, 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 a doctrine from the devil. So the devil doesn't want these affairs to be spoken. This word. Because this, because of this commandment, it is the first commandment. With the promise of good, and it's the first commandment of the promise of bad. Now the cast come upon me of stealing, which I cannot control, which I cannot control in any way, until I have to take somebody's thing, and then I feel I'm okay. I have that power to steal now. I have the prudence because the power is in this sin. The power is in this sin. He gives you the prudence to take. So I came and began working. I began to work. I began to work. So blames began coming out there. At one time I'm told you are the one who has done this. Anything goes amiss, I'm the one who has done this. But that thing which has been done well, I'm not mentioning. But if it's going to miss, then I'm the one to be put there. So I went to Lamu in 1977 in the month of March. I went there and I was employed there. They again sprang up. Things about being accused. To be accused. Every time being accused. Until I had been given two warnings. If you do it again, you will have to be sent home. So I got saved. I got saved in Miracle Church. So I was surprised. The preacher who prayed the prayer of repentance to me, he never passed through that side. He taught me very well. I confessed to my sin. But when he left, another preacher came. So that one, he came straight to my line. The line that was disturbing me. I want now to be sent home. So he brought the network with him. I was surprised. So I saw my childhood. The way I was growing up. What was I doing? Where was I entering? So the picture came very openly. I followed him. And I told him, that's all. I thought someone had bewitched me. I thought I had been bewitched. Because there is witchcraft there outside. Once you are told, once you are bewitched with that, then you will always be blamed wherever you go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I was looking for a medicine man. Maybe I'm bewitched so that he can remove that witchcraft. But when he got saved, I knew that I was the witchcraft. So I took my witchcraft to him. Which is making me to be accused. So I made my mother sad. And again I made my sister to be sad also. And soil for her. And this one I've accused. All these things were upon me. So I had, I had no chance not to do anything good. The only opportunity I had was not to do good, but the opportunity I had was to do evil. So that shilling of my mother, that was my first time to steal a shilling from my mother. I only stole one shilling. It was inside the packet and I opened the tin with and my I and I opened the yes, packet. The devil gave me that prudence. 
to go and bury or hide it first and wait for my mother to come and to see how the atmosphere will be. If the things which shall be spoiled, you take the shilling and return it. But you see things are okay, you can take the shilling and spend it. So he taught me so the worry of my sister made me to be seen as not a thief. Because I asked my mother, are you seeing me crying? This is a sign. She has stolen the shilling, but she's fearing to be beaten. That's why she's crying. So I went closer to her. I told her, cry, but once you keep fire, you return the shilling. Because if you have not stolen, why are you crying? This is a sign. You have stolen the shilling, now you are fearing to be beaten. So she continued to cry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This way, this is the thing that makes the devil to shout. He doesn't want this word to be spoken. This word, which made Jesus to die. So the devil doesn't want to hear anybody to speak about this word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And again, another thing at this time is a time of once this gospel is preached, people have their phones. They are observing everything. They are listening to what the preacher is saying. So the devil is so sad about that. When he hears this word being spoken, and it's not in Kenya alone, or maybe Uganda, or Tanzania, or, Tanzania, or maybe abroad, anybody who opens his phone to listen to the word of God, is listening to this word. Which in Mariakani, at a place called Chos, and he put his name there because that is dwelling place. And the God is commanding that all people to face that place, to come there, not another place. Amen. All people. That's why God has made a door. The word has gone everywhere because God wants to look for that place. God has put this word. That they come here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They come here. To come and see what was begun here. Africa. In Africa. Not abroad. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not in abroad. The secret which they have. Which was given to those people with knowledge. Was revealed here. So it is coming from here going back there. Against or contrary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They have never seen any person from here. To, to send a cry there. Looking for aids to come here. They are hearing the church, but they have never seen a people from here going there to, to take a cry that they want to be assisted. When they come here, they, are, they want to be assisted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Instead of them assisting, they are the ones to be assisted. Amen. They are expecting in their ears to hear a cry has been given for the sake of the problems that we have. But they say here, he speak what he speak, or maybe he hear what he will hear. After that, he start going in peace. So he goes surprised. And these people not having any needs. Amen. So my dear brothers, even if you hear any practice, do not look at those people. Uh -uh. No. The devil is so bitter. The devil is so bitter because of the words which are spoken. And if you have seen them, and you are always being accused of something. You are always being accused of something. You are always being accused of something. The thing that makes that 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 want to be accused of something is what I did. I stand very firm showing my sister. Surely she has taken the shilling. Because if she has not taken, why is she crying? That is the sign showing that you have stolen. That you are fearing to be beaten. That's why she is crying. And I'm the one who has the shilling. I have not spent it. I have been taught to hide it somewhere. Hallelujah. So if you are tempted to accuse someone and she was sad because of you, okay, now wait. That cup will be turned one day and you test it. 
I was surprised that day Kuna, to see the, th the, the one that, 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 which made me almost to be sad have come openly to me. So the things concerning to be sad came to an end. It came to an end. Hallelujah. It came to an end. Together with that, there are two people who wanted to be sacked. I was to be the first one, and then another one to be the second one, and then some other two to be employed. Amen. But after being forgiven of this sin, which I made my sister, to stay the whole day without eating, because of bitterness which I gave her, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Alishinda bila kula. He stayed without eating. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na Mungu kumbe and God also anasema says mimi najua mawazo. I know the thought. Na wawasia ni. Which I'm thinking about you. Asema Bwana. Praise the Lord. Ni mawazo ya amani. They are thoughts of peace. Wala si mabaya. Not of evil. Watakieni ninyi to give you amani, peace, na tumaini and hope. Siku zenu za mwisho. At, at your end days. Usomee ile andiko. You read for us that scripture. Jeremiah 29. Jeremiah 29 Maana nayajua mawazo nayo wawazia ninyi asema Bwana ni mawazo ya amani wala si ya mabaya kuwapa ninyi tumaini siku zenu za mwisho nanyi mtaniita mtakwenda na kuniomba nami nitawasikiliza nanyi mtanitafuta na kuniona mtakaponitafuta kwa mioyo yenu kwa, mo, kwa moyo wenu wote for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall you call upon me, and you shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you, and you shall seek me and find me, when you shall search for me with all your heart. And Asema, he says, because I know. Mawazo, the thoughts which I, thought, I think about you. The mawazo ya amani, the thoughts of peace wala si ya mabaya, and not of evil ninyi, to give you tumaini, hope at your end days. Tafuta, and you shall seek me Taniona. And you'll find me. And you shall go and pray. Nami and I'll hearken unto you. Tafuta, and you shall search me. Na and find me. Kwa moyo wenu wote. Once you search me with all your heart. Kwa moyo wenu wote. With all your heart. Mungu anasema, God is saying. Ahadi yake kwetu. There is his promise to us. Anasema, he is saying. Na yajua yale mawazo na wawazi I know the thoughts that I think about you. Ne mawazo ya amani. They are thoughts of peace. Wala si ya mabaya. And not of evil. The mawazo ya amani the thoughts of peace wala si, si ya mabaya and not thoughts of evil shetani the devil sisi. is the one who wants us mawazo ya mabaya who's thinking who's thinking bad of us kwa kila uofu. by putting every evil into us katika moyo wenu in our heart ili tumtafute shetani so that we may seek the devil kwa moyo wetu sote with all our hearts moyo wetu what with all our hearts tangu jana from the childhood Unatafuta shetani. You are seeking the devil. Tangu ujana. From the childhood. Unatafuta shetani. You are seeking the devil. Umejaa upinzani mwingi. You are filled with all manner of opposition. Umejaa mashindano mengi. You are full of all competitions. Mawazo mabaya. Evil thought. Shetani anataka. That's what the devil wants for us. Mungu peke yake. But it's only God. Yeye anasema. Who is saying? Maana anayajua. Because I know. Mawazo na wawazi yake. The ninyi. thought that I'm thinking about you. Ni mawazo ya amani. They are thoughts of peace. Wala si ya mabaya. And not of evil to give you to mine hope at your end days i know those thoughts which i'm thinking about you. and because god saw these people are misled or misled but they don't know why they they doing that that's why he gave his only begotten son because of loving the world. He gave out his only begotten son. So that whosoever believes in him shall not perish. But to have the everlasting life. Because God did not send his son to come and condemn the world. But the world may be saved yes, through him. So Jesus came not to come and condemn. He came to save. People who are misguided. Like me. Watu waliharibika people who are spoiled kama mimi like me watu walipewa mawazo mabaya na shetani people who are given the bad thoughts kama by the mimi. devil like me wakimwamini huyu aliyekuja once they believe the one who came aliyeletwa na Mungu who was brought by God wapate uzima wa milele that they may get everlasting life katika yeye in through him kwa nini why 
Because he never came to condemn the world. Alikuja, he came that people may get the forgiveness of their sins. That people may be saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why he had to show the people who are taking the woman. They took her to Jesus. And told the teacher, we called this woman, we caught her, she was committing adultery. And according to the law, according to the law of Moses, it says that we should stone them, such women, until they die. And what are you saying? So Jesus had to keep quiet. Because he had been asked by his senior people. They had very big beard that become luggages. And Jesus was never wearing a hat. So they asked him again, teacher, this woman was caught when she was committing adultery. According to the law, according to the law of Moses, that we should stone them to death, such women like this one. Until they die. Now, then what are you saying? Because he lifted his head. And told them very meekly. Anyone. Who has never committed this sin. From birth. Let him be the first one to stone her. And then others to follow. So that judgment was so big. No one could do it. So they were surprised. She was, he was doing his work. Okay, continue with the work. You have been given the work. Began with, beginning with the high priest. He had to leave his stone to fall down. The other one also left his stone to fall down. And it was become a queue now, a long queue. They all went away to decide on his own whether he did it or not, she did it. Amen. So when Jesus lifted his head, there was a very big queue, a long queue of stones, there were no people, and the woman was there. So she said, where are your accusers? She said, I don't know. No one has judged you? She said, no, there isn't. Then she said, I'm also not judging you. Go on your way, but not commit this sin anymore. Showing that, he never came to condemn anybody. He came to save people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And these are the thoughts which God said that I know the thoughts which I'm thinking towards you. Says the Lord. They are the thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you hope at your end day. Amen. So Jesus came to say he never came to condemn people. He came to save the people. Whosoever believes in him, that he may not perish, but to have the everlasting life. Because God did not send the Son in the world to come and condemn the world, but the world may be saved through him. That the world may be saved through him. That the world may be saved through him. My grandmother, that is my younger wife of my grandfather, who we met, the, our maternal grandmother, we never saw her. But then there was a severe famine at the month of June, and we were young children. So my mother had to leave to go to his brothers. You know from Kibao Chafundisa up to Malindi, it's not a, a walk that a child can walk. So my grandmother, one day, when my mother had gone to Malindi, we were left with the grandmother. Then there is an aunt who is an elder to us. Her age is almost to the age of my sister. And then me. And then my young brother who is coming after me. A boy, that is. A very small boy. A very small boy. A very small boy. A very small boy. And the other, the, the one born after him is the one who my mother has gone with. So one morning, my grandmother said, instructing the girl, go and look for vegetables and boil them and eat. Because your mother has left you here, then who will take care of you? Have you heard that baby? Yes. And then look for vegetables, boil them and eat. And then I'm coming in the afternoon. So during the afternoon, she gives us food. In the evening, she gives us food. But this morning, she says we go out looking for vegetables, we boil them and eat. And then she makes some porridge, very heavy porridge. 
kwetu wanaoita funza power we call it funza power in a vernacular mzito, very heavy porridge alafu inachukua mboga inaweka and then the vegetables are put on top there. Kapu, then the aunt is given that in a basket and then she's put on the, on the back. and she's a big girl hata vile anaenda miguu inalewa lewa now that they are going the, the legs are hanging she goes she goes there to eat the porridge alone siku ya kwanza tukafanya so we did it the first day siku ya pili tukafanya we did the second day siku ya tatu tukafanya and we did the third day lakini kamuuliza huyu dada yangu but then i asked my sister kwani sisi hatujui mama kule aliye don't we know where our mother's gone akasema ninajua tunajua she said no i know Let us boil these vegetables and eat, and then we leave and pull the mother. And let us take the, the goat of our brother. Our elder brother had, had bought a goat, and it had a, a kid. A kid, a he got. So we, we ate the, the, the vegetables, then I, I, I got a stick, and I untied the, the goat. And I gave it to my sister to hold the rope. So I was holding the stick. And I was holding the, the hand of my young brother. So we had eaten vegetables and we were satisfied. So from Kibocha Fundista we are going to Malindi. We came to up to Mkondwa Simiti. There are shops there. Those days there were no many vehicles. You are just walking on the middle of the road. Because you can even fear the vehicle coming from far. Unaona sasa bahati ya Mungu. You see now how luck we are. Mungu alitwekea watu kutoka kwa God put some people. Tungepata tabu sana siku. We will get trouble on the way. Because we cannot walk all that distance. Tukakuta jirani yetu kabisa. Then we found a neighbor Abe, somewhere. Mji wao whose home is na shamba letu. Is next to our farm. Wanaenda Kagombani. They were going to Kagombani. Wameketi kwa baraza ya duka. They were seated on the, at the the veranda of a shop. Sasa tukapita hapo. So you're passing them. We never greeted them. So they saw us. Thinking maybe our parents are ahead somewhere there. But there is a very big baobab there. Just next to the road there. We passed that place also. Then who are together with these people? Then that mother was told to and ask them who are they with and where are they going? We have our God. So this young brother began sweating. Began sweating from the from the neck coming down. She was he was very quiet. Showing that he had begun to get tired. Oh, come wait for us there. So we stopped. At the middle of the road. She came, where are you going? Then I'm the spokesman. Not my sister. She's elder, but I'm the spokesperson. I told this mother, we are going to Sabaki. What are you going to do there? We are following our mother. Why? I told her this the third day, we have not eaten food. My grandmother told us that your mother left and who did she leave you with? So we thought it would be better instead of dying with hunger here we go to our mother. Today is the third day, yes. We have not eaten anything. And we are eating vegetables and we are eating food during lunch and in the evening. So she said, wait for me here. She returned and told the old man. He said, what? That old man jumped. Bio, what ran fast, it? very fast. They came together. So she came and took my child, child, which I was holding with my hand, and carried him on my shoulder, and took the stick, and took the, 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 the rope from the, that girl, and told us, go back home. You will die on the way. What is hunger? So we also broke the journey. So they had to go back with us, up to home. Yeah, so far, yeah, okay. so they had their journey had to be broken. So they had to take us to our home. Not our home. But they took us to their home. So they made a very heavy power. Like that one, but in a big saucepan. Very heavy more than that one. And they put it some vegetables. Okay, there. okay sit down. So we, we sat around it. Three people. So we began to eat. Now the vegetables, because of walking, there was, there, our stomachs were empty now. So we ate and ate and ate and ate. And ate. Reaching down there, we were almost finishing this, the porridge. We were now satisfied. I told, I told so I told them, for this people, to believe that we were hungry for three days, we have to finish this food. We have to finish this food. 
And then we, we, are, we try to skin it down oh, yes, fingers, to the showing that the food was not uh, enough. So I told them that way. So we increased the speed again. So that way, straight until we, we emptied the, the sauce. I told them, okay, let us go now. We began eating also the remnants. So they came. So they were holding their, their, their waist. They were looking at the saucepan. What? Surely these children were dying. And that is a lie. So she told her her mother, mother, go and call their grandmother. So when she went the farm, she the she has eaten very little of it. She has not finished alone. So the flies were flying around the saucepan there. Okay, you have gone to the farm today, yes. Then what has happened? Then she asked her, where are the children? She said they are at home. They are at home. I was going to Kagombani and my journey had to stop it because I got them and Mkondo Asmiti they were going to their mother. When I asked them, I told them that you had eh? denied them food for three days. She was surprised again and you are cooking for it. You are carrying your child to them to come and eat alone here. To come and eat alone. And you're leaving the children with hunger. Even if they're not your grandchildren who are born by your child, but they are fellow wife. Don't you know they can be beneficial to you tomorrow? He said, eh. Have you brought them? Okay, let us go. So they came to that place. So they found us, we were filled with food and we were seated on the ground. Looked at us and said, What? She never said anything. She said, okay, let us go. So we untied our God. We went with her, not speaking anything. Until we reached home. We tied our God. At that time, we were so satisfied. She made some lunch and gave it to us again. We never ate it because we were satisfied. So at 3 o'clock, we, we began to eat it again. So the next day, she Again. She made some porridge and gave it to us also. So when my mother came, the information she got is that they were denied food for three days. For three days. But it was only in the morning. In the afternoon we were eating and in the evening we were also eating. If we had been denied food for three days, would we be able to walk? And we are small children. Amen. So if you hear all the noise from the devil, it's because of this word. He doesn't want this word to be known. He, he wants to make people, but then another person not to know it. Because this is the work that brought the devil. He's an opposer of God always. Hallelujah. He's in the opposition. He doesn't want the commandment of God. He's so bitter about them. Okay, how do you find it? Then how I ashamed my grandmother. Because all those elders knew that she had denied food for us for three days and that she was making porridge and taking to the farm for our own to eat alone. And the porridge was also seen there. It was there. And flies were flying around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So our grandmother had nothing to say. She was so ashamed. When our mother came, never asked her. She said, it's rightful for me because I have nothing. If I had anything, then our children would not be molested that way. She just left it that way. Hallelujah. She just left it that way. So such things, once I'm accused of anything, I have no reason to fight because I'm the one who did it. I ashamed some other people. So what was coming up now was springing up. That's why, why you see interveta. A very big thing was sprung up against me which had, would, could make me to go out of this place. But because Jesus came because of sinners he saved me. That word was enough for me to go out of this place. I had gone truly because of my last. I wanted to be praised. And I went to pray for a child. 
akakosa kufufuka and that child was not never resurrected basi ujumbe huu unatangazika vipi so how is that information announced i came to this place i sat with pastor mwero a church assistant together with mnyambu nikamwambia I told them I went to Taveta and a child came sick then I prayed for her then the days that were finished when they reached to the to their home they, they turned Morigo so the, the the next day we went to them and we asked his father if we are the one to bury or they want to bury because we have never seen the father at our place so his grandfather is the one who said he will be buried by the religion of his father so we were just sitting there like anyone who had come to bury they buried and finished then we left that place he said we have done a good thing another time we should do the same thing we kama mtu amekufa if somebody has died, okoka, and is not saved lakini wenyewe wakataka mhubiri but if those people want to preach you go at once kwa sababu wende kuhubiria yule maitu you are not preaching to the dead unaenda kwa wakati tayari hao walio hai you are going to prepare those who are alive knowing that living is not forever they are living for the day that give you life and you are wanted when you die gani? on what type of life have you led and if anybody says he is our disciple and he is dead and the owners refuse it then stay aside why because you have not had any with anything even if they pour alcohol on you if they do anything even if they dance any dance to him, they have not taken him to hell because that one sawa sawa equal to have gone for a jana when you come back home you are house is and with all your we were belongings does it mean you are also burnt i said no so it's something like that if you see people competing with other cops just stay aside of them. they cannot do they cannot he went to heaven from the day he closed his eye you see I heard what I did because it could not be okay. had he resurrected i would be there that was the first thing to speak but then i had hid it like a tail i sat on it i knew that one it will not be known so i sat on it i came to mtwapa i preached the fasting i remember that was in december 2nd ya december 2nd december i went to sagala on the sand of ninth i went to sagala again on the sunday of 16th now the crusade was coming that mother came with that child but those affairs had been had by preachers but they were fearing to speak about them so january came 1985 i went to msumarini when i came there, the first thing i was sent to kobos sasa kuna maneno nayasikia sikia lakini sielewi but then there was some yeah, rumors about hearing mitali, mitali. but i was not hearing they were spoken like prophets but i was not understanding them so i stayed there for two weeks and came back and i went for three sundays so the first sunday when i was there it was known here oh. I came back here. I was surprised. Anybody I testify about the gospel. He said you are going to speak to the elders. Even Malolo who wants the gospel always. He's telling me you are going to see the elders. And things had been spoiled here. They have been known. And again he's the same person who came and saved me. He came and told me so i felt that i was now cheering i told him yeah i was shameful because had i done it had it happened i would have spoken about it but because it was it was not done, it was but then the way he put it that when i reached there i saw people who were preparing the coffin and i went to them and i told them what are you doing they are saying they are me a coffin i told them stop it because where i step no burial is done. I have become an angel of death. I came to, I went to those who are digging the grave. Why are you digging the grave here? It's a grave. Cover it. Anywhere I go, no burial. 
I was surprised on how those things was put. If it, it were, it were alone, alone, but then I had eight people, people, and they are the ones who spoke this thing. Ah. So I laughed. I told Elda ah. Munyambu, this is now my reward. Because I pleased the devil. I did something that was pleasing to the devil. Because miracle members there are being described. That miracle members are pretending to have God. Their preacher came here to pretend. And he prayed for the corpse and never resurrected. No, you cannot pretend. Then I heard some things were spoken which I cannot do anything. But then God stopped me. I was given to become. And when it was known, I got the understanding. And I was unable to speak the truth. I told them, no, this one and this one, this is the bonus. But this one is uh, this an, uh, an accusation. I didn't do this. But let me tell you exactly what I did. And my, uh, the aim of it, my aim was not to resurrect the child that people may be saved. Because anywhere Jesus did a miracle, there were hard people who could not believe. So through the miracle, those people who believe in God, but I didn't want them to believe in God. It was that the child may be resurrected. And that was on Wednesday, on a day of teaching. Then undoubtedly, the, the missionary will say, Stand up, brother. Are you seeing this young man? He came from Lamu recently came here. And he has drawn so many people from Shingwaya. And today he has resurrected a dead person. Okay, okay you see people of the call of God, then people will cheer up. Okay, that's the thing that I was looking for. Not another thing. Not another thing. That was my joy now. And it was not done. God saved me. And he gave me to speak the truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see that one? It is one. Among the calamities of that one. I met those people sad. I met sad my sister. Now my grandmother. How was she ashamed also? Because of accusing her that she had not given her food for three days. And it was only in the morning. The work of accusing people. You see now the thing that was heaped on me. Until I was surprised. Instead of being annoyed, I began to laugh. Hallelujah. I told him, this is now my reward. Because of the work that I did. Because I left them, the, the same people are being despised there. Or miracle members are pretending to have God. Their teacher came here. And God never had him. These are people who are proud. That is the word I left there. So the, the followers were being ashamed. And I have come out of that place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was now, it was now on me because of the word that I heaped on my, my sister and my grandmother. Because of accusing them. Springing words against them. As something was also sprung up against me. And I thought that they were aiming that I should not be returned there again. Hallelujah. Amen. So I came and confessed and I spoke the truth. The idea of doing that, why? What was I looking for? I formed it. Then he said, thank you very much. And he went and informed the elder. And the elder said, that is now a disciple. First one to confess that thing. He has been enabled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If anybody is going to learn to speak the truth, they will become very good disciples. Amen. So you see now, such words, the devil does not want them. He doesn't want them to be spoken. Because many people did this. People made sad their people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They made people sad this way. How do you think that my grandmother was ashamed? Because there is some evidence that the porridge was seen in that farm. So you cannot say it's true. You cannot say it's not true. And she kept quiet. And she never punished us. She never insulted us. She just kept quiet. 
he just left it to God. Maneno haya. So this word. Sorry, I'll find it. Are the ones which made things to be strong against me. Maneno ya lasima. Things by force. Ya kushigishiwa. To be accused. Ni kashigishiwa maneno. I was accused of things. Kule kashini kule. At the place of work. Ilikuwa pato mara moja ni kukwe. It was only one attempt for me to be sacked. Ilikuwa kukwa. But then I got saved. That's the time I came and had this so teaching. And now they showed me during my childhood and what habit I had and what I did. Hallelujah. So because of this now, God loved the world. And he sent his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but to have the everlasting life. Because God did not send the son to the world to come and condemn the world. But the world may be saved through him. That the world may be saved through him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That the world may be saved through him. Because of this. Because of my life. Which I had. God had to send his son in the world. So Jesus. Was sent because of this reason. Hallelujah. Let us read from the book of Genesis. Chapter 27. Verse 1. Up to 4. You read for us that verse. You read for us. Shetani, the devil is so bitter because of this word. Do not blame anybody. If you see you are accused of anything, do not say why. Do not say why. No. Go very slowly. There is a place. There is a reason why this is coming. Your accusation. So me, you read for us. Ikawa Isaka alipokuwa mzee na macho yake yamepofuka asione akamwita Esau mwanawe mkubwa akamwambia mwanangu naye akam akamwitikia mimi hapa akasema tazama sasa mimi nimekuwa mzee wala sijui siku ya siku ya kufa kwangu basi na kuomba chukua mata yako podo lako na upinde wako ukaende nyikani uniwindie mawindo ukanifanyie chakula kitamu na mna ile nipendayo ukaniletee ili nile na roho yangu ikubariki kabla sijafa and it came to pass that when Isaac was old and his eyes were dim so that he could not see he called Esau his eldest son and said unto him, my son, and he said unto him, behold, here am I. And he said, behold, now I'm old, I know not the day of my death. Now therefore take, I pray thee, thy weapon and thy quiver and thy bow, and go out into the field and take me some venison, and make me savory meat such as I love, and bring it unto me, that I may eat, that my soul may bless thee before I die. And Ashema, He says, when Isaac was old and his eyes were dim, he called his eldest son and he told him, my son, behold now, I have become so old. I have become old and I don't know the day of my death. So now, take your quiver and your bow and your quiver and go into the wilderness. And go and hunt venison. And make me some food. The way that I love. And bring it unto me. That may eat my heart. May bless you before I die. Why that? Why is he given some work so as to be blessed? Hallelujah. Confirming that the blessings of the Lord which come from the parents which needs the blessings of the parents. The way you make him happy. So you are blessing is according to how your father says. The way you obey him. The way you honor him. That's where your blessings are. And truly so, he did exactly that. And he had to run into the field. But then Rebecca, these children came too. Amen. Because he also got 
delivered children left until the time he went to church. He went to pray to God and God heard her and she was conceived. And when this womb was growing, the children began to fight in the womb. This one fighting with the leg, this one fighting with the head. This one throws the hand and this one throws the head. And Rebecca began to go back again to the church. Told God, if giving birth is this way, then why am I living? She was told, you have two nations in your womb and two tribes are dis in a disagreement from your womb. So one nation will be more courageous than the second one. And the, the, the eldest is going to serve the young one. So after that voice from the God, then the war came to an end. The war stopped. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when they were given out, they, were, they, they came from the same womb, but then they were different. One has the word of God and one has the word of this world. So when they were being born, Jacob was holding the knee of the, the elder brother. This one is black and this one is brown. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the young nation that is Jacob. Jacob was enabled Eshima. to honor mama yake. by her mother. Jacob so Jacob was down at, the, at the, the, the legs of her mother. She was getting firewood. Maji. She was fetching water. Chakula. She was cooking food. Kila kazi mama he did every work the mother was doing. But then Esau was a young boy. He was doing some other cares. He cannot do some other things because they belong to girls and that there's no girl here. They are all boys. So the heart of Rebecca was towards Jacob. So when he heard the husband was commanding the child and he was not of assistance to him and he called the one who was assisting him because the Bible is saying the one who is assisting you is your God. So she wanted this blessing to go to the young boy. Amen. So as he was going to the field, this one was sent to the field, to the, to the, to the animals at, the, at home there. And then she told her mother, but my, my, my boat, the boat of my brother is hairy, and my, my boat is smooth, and maybe my father is going to curse me. And then I receive a curse instead of a blessing. He was told, may your curse come upon me, my son, but just listen to my voice. You saw someone who is doing right. Is fought, is fought for. So Jacob had to inherit the blessings of, of Esau, the first son, because of the word honor. So that word is aiming at honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Esau, Esau, how was it possible to be, to be given some work and then she blessed and she's the firstborn? But the heart of Esau was openly, was not pleasing the parents fully. So he had to be instructed so that the Isaac may eat and be happy and they release the blessings. Then another one came and he came and inherited the blessings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He inherited the blessings. The, the parent is commanding. Bring this thing for me, my son. Bring this thing for me, my son. But you know the parents of these days, they are things. They are not thinking. They think we have money. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Already you are missing the blessing. Because you are not pleasing your parents. So, so pleasing the parents. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was aiming at that one. Honor. You have to agree to take the course. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have to take the course. Take the course. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because Jesus never died in vain. He bore the course so as to save you. You also have to bore the course so that you can get the good thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You also have to bore the course. There is another one who bore the course here. Upon the blessing. His name was Jacob. And he pleased his mother. And he took the course, pleasing his mother. If people are going to laugh at him, he would be said he's splitting firewood and they are cleaning saucepans. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Or maybe you're pounding maize. 
He agreed to God the God. Was If people are going to despise him, it's okay. But provided the mother is pleased. So that cost made him the mother to be pleased because Jacob was pleasing God. He was pleasing God. God is saying, because I, I know the thoughts that I'm thinking towards you. They are thoughts of peace. To give you hope at an expected end. The thought of peace. He's thinking good of us. He's thinking peace of us. To, that we may have hope towards him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That we may have hope towards him. Every one of us. God enables him to have that heart of hope. A person who is hoping in God. A person who has hope in God. That God never called you to a bad thing. That we may have hope towards God. That God never called you for a bad thing. He's thinking peace of you. He's thinking peace of you. He's thinking peace of you and to give you hope at your expected end. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At your end days. So this is the word we have to pray for. That God enables us that we may have hearts for of hope. Hearts which are hoping in God. Hearts which have hope in God. That he may enable us let us all stand up. Let us all stand up. That God may enable us today evening. A heart that has hope in him. A heart that has hope in him. That he may enable us today evening to give us a heart which has hope in him. Let us all close our eyes. Baba kwa upendo wako mkuu bana. Maana ni mapenzi yako Kristo bana. Umetuona bana. Tunatanga tanga bure. Wewe kumbe unatuwazia mema. Wewe kumbe unatuwazia mazuri. Na kutupa matumaini siku zetu za mwisho. Baba tunakuja mbele zako. Utujalie. Moyo wenye matumaini kwako bwana. Utujalie. Moyo wenye matumaini kwako wewe bwana. Utusaidie. Bwana bila wewe hatuwezi chochote bwana. Baba ninakushukuru kwa sababu naamini Mungu wa mama mwanzilishi. Wewe ndio kutupa bwana. Moyo wenye matumaini. My beloved let us all cry to God. Tell him I have no love that I'm troubled because, because my heart has no hope in you. 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 Give me a heart that has hope in you. Give me a heart that has hope in you. Give me a heart that has hope in you. Give me a heart that has a hope in you. Give me a heart that has a hope in you. Baba ni ajalie bana. Bana ni ajalie bana.
hivyo tumemaliza ibada yetu. So we have come to the end of our service. Mungu ametufikisha hapo. God has made us reach there. Na tunashukuru and we are grateful. Kwa kipindi hicho for that period umetuwezesha God has enabled us. Yale yashikia, what we have heard. Hata ukiwa nyumbani. While at home. Again. Again. Naomba tena. You pray again. Unaomba tena. You pray again. Unaomba tena. You pray again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mungu nisichiche. God and enable me moyo matumaini the heart of hope moyo matumaini wewe the heart of hope in you hallelujah hallelujah naomba mpatieni chombo pastor luka ocheng give a microphone to pastor cheng ili aweze kutufungia ibada kwa maombi hiyo ni ya leo ili bwana tukawese baba kudai roho iliyo na matumaini bwana umetuona kristo mwana wa mungu hatuna matumaini bwana tumepoteza lengo tumepoteza shabaha kristo mwana wa mungu kwa vile babu umetumia mtumishi wako tuwajalie mkosi mwema moyo ulio na matumaini ili baba tufikie lengo na shaba uliyotoitia bwana sante kwa hilo neno ambalo bwana umetumia mtumishi wako tuwajalie mkosi mwema roho ya kusingatia na ukayatunza bwana neno ambalo tayari umeweka kila moja moyoni mwake mkosi asante tuwajalie mwana wa Mungu usiku mwema tunapoondoka mahali hapa Tuwajalie mkosi mwema tuwe na roho ya matumaini bwana tukawese baba kutulia mbele zako asante mkosi mwema jalia mtumishi wako bwana ukamusidishie uzima kamili toka kichwa mpaka miguu kila mali mwilini mwake baba ukalitembele na ninaamini mkosi mwema waende kwa hayo maana we ni mwaminifu baba jalia baba nyumba ya mwanzilishi ukawalinde bwana Ukawa pamoja na wao mwana kila moja aliye mali pale baba ukawajalie Mungu liye mkuu baba sante mkosi mwema naomba nikiwa na hakika baba waenda kutenda maana we ni mwaminifu toka mwanzo baba umekuwa mwaminifu pamoja na mtumishi wako umekuwa mwaminifu ndani ya mama mwanzilishi na nina hakika mkosi umetupa hiyo roho ya kuwa na matumaini Asante kutenda, asante kutimisa ni kwa jina la Yesu. Mokosi wetu. Amen. 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 Asante sana. Bwana atubariki sana. Amen. Amen. Asante. Oh, 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 oh,